No, not going anywhere. Ah, oh, Big G, I hope you're okay. I hope it wasn't too stressful. Vicky Smith, what is Russia? R O C A S A. Sorry, it doesn't. I don't. I don't know what that is. Sorry. Yes, I am moving. L. Why am I moving? Sorry. Why am I moving? Because I need to be in a bungalow. Um, I'm not coping with the stairs. I need everything on one level. I missed a bit on my eye. Did I? Let me have a look. I'm looking with my glasses on so that I can see. I don't think I missed a bit. No, I don't think so. Oh, okay. Skin condition. Um, I don't, I don't know is the honest answer. No, Emily. Um, I own my own home. I am selling my current house and I'm buying a bungalow. Yeah, um, nothing wrong with renting and council houses, but no, I am uh, buying and selling my own home. TC, um, I've got so much going on at the moment, TC, that I'm probably not doing it this year. Um... With the, with the move going on this month, TC, and I've got so much going on, I'm unlikely to do it this year. Um, yeah, I'm just being honest. Um, with everything going on, with all the bullying and harassment that I'm getting along with all of the move and all the other stress I've got. Um, yeah. I've done it for the last two years, as you know, and um, having done it for the last two years, I feel that I'll let somebody else do this year. Am I wearing clothes? Yes, of course I'm wearing clothes. There you go. I'm dressed. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. So if you're talking about the lines that I've got coming round like that, they are um, caused by the plastic of my sleep mask. So I do have sleep mask lines that come around my face and it does cause some redness down here, if that's what you're talking about. Sometimes it's both sides, sometimes it's just one side. So if that's what you're talking about, yeah, that's from my CPAP mask. <laughs> no, I've got clothes on, guys. I'm not silly. <laughs> Yeah, Lucy, loads of people get them. What does Owen do to counteract the marks it leaves? Do you... Do, 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 Sorry. Does he use any special moisturising cream or anything to help with the... Line... Marks... Lines... lines right, I'm going to use uh, my moisturizer hair removal um, hello the original hair removal for me with such high testosterone levels I just shave um, when my testosterone was last me measured my doctor said she'd never seen such high testosterone levels in a female uh, my PCOS has made my testosterone levels incredibly high. And although I'm not doing it this year, that's why for the last two years I've grown a beard for PCOS awareness. But like I said a minute ago, 
with my move happening in the next few weeks. Hold on, what's been pinned? Because I've got, not got my glasses on. Thank you, making me put my glasses on to read that comment. <laughs> Love that, thank you guys. Oh dear. So this is my boots, number seven. Uh, daytime, nighttime, moisturizer. Again, just showing people what I use. Again, not an advert. A number of people seem to think I'm advertising. I'm not. I'm just telling people what I use. Because the number of times I get asked is stupid. This jar's not nearly finished. Good job I've got another one. And then I will move on to doing my hair in a minute. Right. Getting requests. No, not going live with anybody at the moment. Okay, Lucy, cool. How come I'm moving Becky with my health at the moment being so bad? Um, and no sign of improvement i'm basically moving to a bungalow so that everything's on one level so yeah i'm moving sometime hopefully in the next month So for all those talking about weight loss medication for PCOS, things like that, um, I have tried it all. Literally, I have tried it all. I have been on weight loss journeys, weight loss diets, weight loss, you name it, I've tried it. Um, basically, the doctors have said um, that with the combination I've got of PCOS and ME, it's just yeah not working um and there's a lot about um there's a lot about pcos and how pcos affects the body that they don't understand so yeah i will be honest and say i can't remember what i've tried over the years but i've tried multiple different weight loss things when it comes to medication and before oh somebody's already said it so when it comes to weight loss surgery i went down the line of investigating weight loss surgery with dietitians, and i did a course of weight loss that was aimed for people thinking about weight loss surgery I did the course, but at the end of the course, we agreed with my health problems. We didn't know how badly my ME and other problems would be affected by a weight loss surgery. And we agreed that even with weight loss, you'll just lose weight. You still have to exercise. You still have to do stuff. And when you've got something like ME, which restricts what you're capable of doing, it can actually make you worse, not better. So yeah, it was decided between me, doctors and dietitians that it wasn't right. Uh, Double D, no, PCOS is not cured by having a hysterectomy because although you get rid of the reproductive side, you don't get rid of the hormone imbalances and the chemical imbalances in your body. Emily, ME and MS are not the same condition. I congratulate you, Emily. Well done. But ME and MS are not the same condition. Hayley, thank you for the roses. I apologise I didn't see them. Thank you very much. Let me have a look. Uh, well, Hayley, um, there's only people showing sending one rose, not multiple, so I don't know if you sent them or not. But you know what? Thank you. 
Right, I am going to move on to sorting my hair out. I didn't actually want this to turn into a health live. It wasn't meant to be a health live. So... Yes, um, Abby, I believe MS is that and so is ME, but in very different ways. And I can see that people in the chat are saying that MS is horrific. It is, yes. And so is ME. Both are horrific illnesses. I would not wish either illness on anybody. Oh, what a surprise. We've got lots of trolls in this afternoon. Ah. <sighs> Um, I'm not turning this into a health live, guys. It was never meant to be a health live. If you want to read about ME, the links to the ME Association are in my link tree. And also other videos and things are in my shared videos. Um, ME has been in the news a lot recently. Um, if you want to watch some of those videos, they're in my shared videos. And, um, yeah, the ME Association is on my link tree. And a lot of information there about ME on the ME Association website. So for all of you who say, how long's my hair? That's how long my hair is. My hair has been needing washing for a week because basically it's well overdue for a wash. So I'm glad I've managed to finally do it today um, because I haven't been able to do it for the last few days because I've just not had the energy. So, yeah. So I'm using a wet brush. Somebody on here suggested I tried a wet brush. And since I've been using a wet brush, it has been so much easier. I do still have my other paddle brushes, but when my hair is wet now, I'm using the wet brush. I never thought that a wet brush would make such a difference but I break a lot less hair now that I'm using a wet brush um, and also I do think that over the last couple of well the last month and a half six to eight weeks since I've had the wet brush I do feel like the condition of my hair has actually improved a bit more um, now, whether that's the wet brush, whether that's the fact that the bleaching is kind of the bleaching effect is going or whether that's the fact that the colours um, draining out or whether it's a combination of all sorts. I honestly don't know. So that's my hair brush through. And I you always people are asking me what hair stuff I use. I use the Aussie hair care range. And this is the leave-in spray-in conditioner. So I use the Mega Shampoo and Mega Conditioner. And then I use the spray-in conditioner as well. I still can't read the comments, guys, because I've got no glasses on. So apologies, I'm not ignoring you. I just can't read the comments when I've got no glasses on. I 
I will put my glasses on for a couple of minutes and look at comments and then I'll carry on going. Right. Uh, dodgy brush. No, it's a very good wet brush. Do I suffer with depression? No, I don't, Sophie. I have suffered with anxiety, but the doctors have confirmed I do not have clinical depression. However, everybody gets depressed sometimes. Everybody has a bad day and has a day of depression sometimes. Loads of people do. But no, um, I do not suffer with clinical depression, but I do have anxiety. Uh, Jade, I got two different two different wet brushes. I got them both in boots. Well, that's what I mean, LJ. There's a difference between um, depression and being sad, that type of thing. And that's what I'm trying to get across. I do not have depression. I've never claimed I have depression. Some followers, I am going to say this carefully. I am noting that some followers seem to be getting more and more hateful. And if you're one of those followers, you might find yourself blocked in the future. If, because if you're just here to, to hate on me, then yeah. Thank you so much for the baseball cap grace that was unexpected thank you thank you very much so i'm now using my ordinary brush because my ordinary brush gives a slightly more smoother finish when i've put the conditioner in my brett brush is more before i've put the conditioner in to kind of straighten it out do my sister no they don't sj and that's why the NHS won't remove them, because they see them purely as cosmetic. Because I won't lie and say they hurt. If I wanted to, I could lie and say they hurt. Um, right. Just bear with me a second, getting rid of somebody else who's trolling me. with me a second guys Am I going to re-dye my hair? So, a, a lot of people have been asking um, whether I'm going to re-dye my hair. Um, the honest answer is I haven't yet decided whether I'm going to re-dye it or whether I'm going to have it um, put back to a more natural colour without any new dye. Does that make sense? So I want to have something more normal than purple hair. Because purple is definitely not natural or normal. Um, yes, I did, Grace. Yes, I had to bleach it quite a bit to get the purple to be so nice. Um, so I went from... The, my natural colour is down by my roots. So this is all natural colour down there. And you can see how much I had to bleach it. Um, Kay, I did the hair myself. So when I did the purple, I did it myself. Thank you, Leigh, for saying it's beautiful. Thank you, I appreciate that. Uh, 
actually Chloe, it's not a dress, it's a top, and it's from yours clothing. Oh, uh, well, Lucy, as I was saying, I'm probably not going to dye it an actual colour, but have it kind of um, colour corrected back to a more normal colour. So I might bleach, not bleach it myself, but I might get it re-bleached again. I'm not 100% sure. There is very definitely a little tangle in there. So I'm just getting that out. There we go. Yep. Yeah. So yes, when I've done my hair this year already, I did it myself. So you see how, when even with the little tangle that's there, the wet brush just glides straight through, whereas this one picks up the little tangles more. <laughs> so Peter, as you know, I used to have short hair and you've seen photos of me with short hair, but I love having long hair. So this has made my life so much easier. As a lot of you know, I was gifted this um, earlier in the year um, by a friend, Dyson Airwrap. I couldn't afford to buy one and I was gifted it. And it has made my life so much easier for drying my hair because it's so much lighter than my hairbrush. I did have, actually have a Dyson hairbrush, hairdryer, um, not hairbrush, hair, hairdryer. And it was heavier than this. And I was doing it with one hand, blowing, drying with one hand and brushing with the... And I just couldn't do it. This is light. This is lovely and light. Um, and I can just glide through it. It is expensive, Demi. I couldn't have afforded to buy one. I still couldn't afford to buy one. But you know what? I was incredibly grateful to a friend gifting it to me. Incredibly grateful. <sighs> There's still a tangle in there. So I found another tangle. Not sure if I put enough um, conditioner on my hair today. So when I get, um, when I get um, the really tiny tangles like that, I just have to brush them out because there's nothing else I can do because my hair is so fine when I get tangles like that. But For my t hair, those tangled teasers don't deal with the really tiny knots. It is a cyst, Zoe. Yes, it is. It doesn't hurt, no. I've got three of them. The one you can see, another one right next to it there, and I've got a couple of smaller ones as well. Right, I can't read comments, guys, with my glasses off.
I'm gonna rest my arm for a minute. It, one thing is with my drying my hair, it does make my arm tired. So resting, doing some of it, resting, doing a bit more, resting, doing a bit more, resting. I do have all the attachments, Claire, yes. Um, there you go, there are all the attachments in the box. What's the leave-in conditioner I used? There you go, the Aussie Hair Care Spray-In Conditioner. Yes, Natalie, I take meds now for my anxiety. Yeah. Right, Molly, Millie Molly, why don't I get it drained? I want to get it drained, Millie Molly. Um, I've asked my doctor more than once and they won't do it. I've asked them to refer me to somebody private. Six months later, I'm still waiting for them to refer me. I've given up with my current GPs, absolutely given up. So um, when I move, I will be starting all over again with a new GP. And I will be asking them, number one, if they can get them done for me. And if they can't get them done for me, I will ask them to refer me to somebody. Um, Pitta, I will not do it myself. You know that. <laughs> What's a cyst? So this is a cyst. There's another one here. And I've got several smaller ones as well. Um, so, yeah, um, it's called a sebaceous cyst, and, yeah. Exactly, Alison. I hope you don't mind me pinning that, Alison. Um, there you go. Alison says her doctors will remove them, nurse will remove them. So, if some doctors will get them removed, why won't all doctors get them removed? Exactly. That's my thought. If some doctors will remove them, why won't all? I'm on, I'm sorry, somebody just asked me what medication I'm on. Yeah, I'm on citalopram as well. Who said that? Yeah, I'm on citalopram as well, Natalie. That's exactly what I'm on. <laughs> Exactly. Um, who said that? Kiki. Pin the comment. There you go, guys. That's what Kiki says, and I agree with you, Kiki. <laughs> now, my doctor said to me, do they hurt? Do they hurt? Do they hurt? If I had lied, and she has, yes, they, they're painful. They're very painful. They would have had them done. I'm not prepared to lie. It's as simple as that. <laughs> now what the doctor, my actual GP said to me last time I was there, he said, yeah, if we don't do them soon, as in the doctors, if they don't do them in the next year or two, they could cause a bigger problem because they could become infected and other things. Then it would be a bigger problem and cost to the NHS. So he said it was actually crazy that he wasn't allowed to do them. But it's not his decision. It's the guidelines of the trust. So, yeah. I know it's not a GP necessary procedure. The GP has to authorise it being done. So, yeah. Who said that? Thank you, 212. Yeah, it is definitely a bit like a mermaid hair, isn't it? Talking of mermaids, guess what I started watching um, the other day for the first time? I haven't finished it yet, but I started watching Aquaman for the first time ever, ever. So yeah, started watching Aquaman. Um, I started watching X-Men because I want to watch the Wolverine, Red Bull, Red, Red Bull, Deadpool. <laughs> I want to watch the Wolverine Deadpool film. I nearly called it Red Bull. <laughs>
gonna mess my arm again. How long have I been on Citalopram? And uh, Natalie. Oh, thank you so much for the hand heart. Who was that? Hayley, thank you very much. Um, Citalopram, I've been on... So I was on a different one before Citalopram. I was, before Citalopram, I was on Sertraline and I was on that for several years. And I was moved to Citalopram when Sertraline started not working for me properly because after a while your body gets used to them and so it's a good idea to move around on them every few years or that's what I've been told it's not me sharing advice it's me saying what I've been told just differentiating I'm not giving advice so yeah I've been on um, Citalopram for about Two years, two and a half years. I hope you don't mind me pinning that. Pinning that even. There you go. So yeah, you were on the same. Thank you for saying that. So Natalie, yeah, similar for two years and then Citalopram. I was on sertraline for more than two years i can't remember exactly how long maybe seven or eight years i can't remember it's not getting larger devon lady not at the moment no it's i'm losing a little bit more hair around it it hasn't got larger i know it hasn't got larger because i'm keeping an eye on the gap between the two and I know about the gap in between the two and I can tell that neither of them are currently getting any larger. But yeah, I've lost hair on this one more so it looks larger to some people because it's more visible. I'm not going anywhere today, Mia. I'm literally just drying my hair. Emma, I'm answering questions. I just don't want to talk a lot about PCOS and ME today. I don't mind answering some questions. I just don't want to answer a million and one questions. Uh, Lucy, no, they're not sore. Claire Bear, okay, you're back on Sertraline. Okay. I'm sorry I'm laughing at that comment apparently I repeat myself all the time uh yes it's called anxiety I know I repeat myself a lot it's just who I am I'm so sorry if you don't like it oh Ella yes I was on fluoxetine before I was on sertraline um fluoxetine I found I got very um um used to and they kept increasing the dosage and that's not a good idea on fluoxetine fluoxetine in a brand name is prozac and um yeah exactly pan dragon thank you for that hun no faith is my strength no um a blocked hair follicle is the most common cause of a sebaceous cyst is a blocked hair follicle and i've got one two a third really small one here three four five po five definites possibly six Uh, yeah, tree. That's why I'm on. I I I I don't like calling them antidepressants, although that's what they are, because I'm not got clinical depression. Anti-anxiety medication is what I prefer to call them, but strictly speaking, they're called antidepressants. But I'm not depressed. Oh, thank you, whoever said that, unicorn. Thank you. <laughs> A 
SSRIs. Yeah, the... Hold on, let's see if I get it round the right way. SSRI. I don't know what SSRI stands for. I can't remember. I have been told, but I can't remember. Um, now, if I've got it the right way round, citalopram and sertraline are SSRIs, but fluoxetine and others are not. Is that the right way round? Selective serotonin inhibitor. Thank you, Edwina. Have I got up to anything? Chels, I didn't get up till about three o'clock. Um, I've had a sandwich for lunch. Um, I've done some uh, housework. Not much some housework a few small bits then i've had a bath and washed my hair and i'm now sat here doing a hair dry live slowly what hair dye is it so leona it's called knight and wilson so k-n-i-g-h-t and wilson it's on amazon and it's the purple one that i used Thank you, Ali, for the crown. Thank you very much. Right. Um... I'm going to take a deep breath and carry on drying my hair. My anxiety is spiking a little bit, so I need to calm. And I need to just take my glasses off for a couple of minutes. Can we do me a favour? Because my anxiety is spiking with... So much talk about anxiety. Can we change the subject in the chat? So I'm going to take my hair and my glasses off and just dry my hair for a minute. If we can change the subject about anxiety, I'd appreciate it. Have I got two thousand pounds and two thousand pounds, two thousand people in the live? Good evening, everybody. Thank you, everybody, for being here. Um, if you don't already follow me, my name's Annette. Good evening to everybody, and I am sat here drying my 
drying my hair. Um, for those of you who are asking about the Dyson Air app, yes, this is a Dyson Air app. It's absolutely brilliant. It's actually very light and it's not an advert. I use it all the time. I was lucky enough to be gifted it. And um, yeah, Luna is the name of my bird. That's why my account is called The Name's Luna. Because originally my account was going to be about Luna when I first came on TikTok two years ago. Um, that was the original intention. I never expected my account to grow to over 150,000 followers that I've got now. Never expected it. So yeah. I've got mods, Kay, but thank you for the offer. Thank you very much. No, Zoe. Luna is absolutely fine. Lots and lots of people like to spread horrible stories. Luna is absolutely fine. She's in her cage and she will be out later on when I'm live later. I just have Luna now. Sadly, my dog died a few months ago. Luna will be out the cage later when I'm downstairs. Thank you, Ella. Not a day goes by when I don't miss her. I dye my own hair when I dye it, so it doesn't, it just costs the cost of the hair dye, so I did it myself. Hello, Samantha James. I'm sorry if I've missed you. I do apologise. Good evening to you. Hello. So my hair is all natural, not the colour obviously, but my hair is all natural, it's all my own hair, none of this extension malarkey or anything like that. If it wasn't my own hair I wouldn't waste the energy um, looking after it so well. But because I love my hair and it's all my own, here you go, that's how my hair looks. Um, now it's nice and dry and clean. It's lovely and shiny, and I'm getting some of the gold, the old glow back into it. Oh, the wet, the back's still a bit wet. So to do that, oops, small one. I use the Aussie hair care range. Rosie Posey, my arms are really tired and I'm really tired. Yeah, that's the thing, Rosie Posey. Um, with any of these chronic conditions, people can't see pain and they can't see how tired you physically feel. So uh, for those people who are asking how often I dye my hair, um, I don't dye it very often. I dyed it last back in May. So this hasn't been dyed or anything since May. Oh, Thomas, we can get rid of your problem. If you're saying not me again, we can easily block you, Thomas. Yeah, I did it myself, Holly. Yeah. So it was much darker back in May. And, um, yeah. Mm. 
I mean, I, 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 I having had Emmy for 28 years, I um, know how to pace myself and I know when my energy is going to be up. I know when my energy is going to be down. Um, I know when um, I'm getting tired, like right now. Um, I know what makes me more tired. So my hair has needed doing for over a week, about five days, nearly a week. I should have done my hair last weekend. Uh, but after the accident that I had on the Thursday, I couldn't possibly get in and out of the bath last weekend. And then during this week, I have been so tired physically and everything else um, that there was no chance I could have coped with the physical energy or lack of energy to do my hair. So... I basically said today I needed, if I could, to do my hair. So the only thing I had planned for today was to have a bath and do my hair. So that's what I've done. And I'm pleased I've managed it. Very pleased I've managed it. I've pushed myself exactly, Samantha, yes. I've pushed myself to do it. I've used more spoons than I've got. I'm absolutely knackered now. Not that you can actually see how tired I am, but I am. Uh, Shannon, it does come with a hand hairdryer attachment. Um, I just don't get on with it very well. <laughs> so I find it easier just to, when I want to blast the back of my hair to get down the middle of my hair dry or drier, because it's even now it's not completely dry. But I'm not going to worry now. I'll let it dry naturally through the evening. Um, it's, not, it's just damp. It's not wet. It's just damp now. So I will let it dry naturally through the evening. Um, actually, I might just blast it a little bit more now. Um, so, yeah. Uh, Tiffany, my ME doesn't give me warning um, or preparation. It doesn't, doesn't work like that. Maybe I'm not explaining it properly. Um, ME doesn't give you warning when you're going to have a flare. ME doesn't give you um, a warning of any sort. I pace myself. So I know for the last few days I've not been able to do it. I might have been able to try yesterday, but I didn't think I'd be able to do it yesterday. I wasn't sure. Now, like I said, you can't see the pain I'm in at the moment. You can't see how physically tired I am, and I am. And you don't know how many painkillers I've already taken, and I'm dying now to take more. Um, that's the thing with any chronic condition. And I mean any chronic condition, not just ME. There are so many um, uh, chronic conditions out there. And chronic doesn't... Chronic means long-term chronic conditions. If you want to learn more about ME, please go to the link tree in my bio. So go up here, go to my main profile page, and you'll see a link saying link tree. Please go to my link tree and click on the ME Association link in my link tree. The ME Association is where you will learn all about ME. Please do not Google ME. You will get an awful lot of other stuff. Please go to the ME Association website. That is where I recommend going. You, you can Google it if you really want to, but I'd, rather, uh, I'd recommend the ME Association website. Okay, Chelsea, I will answer that question, Chelsea. If you're so tired, why do you go to shows? Chelsea, it's called having a life. Just because somebody's got health problems, just because somebody's disabled, just because somebody is in a chronic condition, does that mean they have to shut themselves at home all day, every day, Chelsea? 
Does that mean I'm not allowed to have a social life? Does that mean I'm not allowed to go on a date? Does that mean I'm not allowed to go to the cinema or go to go to the shops? Why would I shut myself away, Chelsea? I'm not hating on you for asking that question because I don't think you're actually trying to hate on me, or I hope you're not. But I, I think you're s assuming that um, I have to shut myself away. No disabled person of any description should have to shut themselves away of any description. Thank you, Snoopy. Okay, I'm going to answer this one. I'm going to pin this one and answer this one. So, Joshua, you get that. Okay, honest opinion. There you go. But I thought with ME suffer every... I'm assuming that's meant to be every day. It's not just every day, Joshua. It's every hour, every minute. It's constant pain. It's constant muscle pain that cannot be seen. So I'm in pain right now. I'm not showing you the pain, but my arms are hurting, my legs are hurting, my muscles are hurting. Um, yeah. Thank you, Perplexed Lizard. Yes, I've achieved my goal today. So Joshua, what I'm saying to you is this. Just because somebody is in constant pain with any chronic condition, any chronic condition. So why should somebody shut themselves away? That's the only question I'm asking you. Uh, I'm just scrolling backwards and looking at some of the comments I've got. There we go, gonna pin that one for an insane membrane. It is exhausting being exhausted. It is. And the thing is, is exhausting being exhausted. You've got to have some stuff in your life to look forward to. There are weeks when I don't go out for two or three weeks at a time. Okay? There are times when I don't go out for two or three weeks. But then I might go out two or three times in one week. Bella, thank you so much for the baseball hat. Thank you. Okay, Lubolay, Lubolay, um, Lubolay, hold on, I'm just going to try and pin your comment. Why is that not comment, why is that comment not pinning? Right, try again, pin. I'm not attention seeking, not at all. People think I'm attention seeking, that's their opinion. I'm not. I talk about it so that I'm trying to raise, uh, raise awareness and I'm talking about my experiences to raise awareness. That is not asking people to give me attention. Karen, exactly. You still need to live. And I think that's what you're saying there, Karen. I'm just looking for the rest of your comment. A lot of people talk about their jobs because they're at work every day. A lot of people talk about their families because they're with their families all day, every day. Um, I talk about my health because it's the biggest thing I live with day in, day out, every day. And I'm sharing my experiences to help other people. ME and MS are very different conditions. Okay. 
I cannot talk about MS. I do not have MS. I do not know enough about it to be able to talk about it. All I can say is they are very different conditions. I don't think it's right for me to talk about something. I'm going to pin that comment. Awareness needed for invisible illnesses. Colour with Amy, I couldn't have said it better myself. That's why I talk about stuff, because awareness is needed. How long ago was I diagnosed with ME? Moonbeam, I was diagnosed when I was 25. I'm now 50. I was first ill when I was 21. Hello, Abby. We met last year, did we? Thank you, Abby. I'm afraid I don't remember you. Please forgive me. Um, I've met multiple people on cruises, so I please accept my apologies for not actually specifically remembering you. Please forgive me. Um, but yes, thank you. I'm going to pin that comment as well. No two ME sufferers are the same. Thank you, Wellbees. Yeah, no two um, chronic, no two chronic sufferers of any chronic condition are going to be exactly the same. I see uh, you say you've got MS and you and somebody else with MS are not the same. Me and another person with ME is not going to be the same. We have, have shared experiences, but we're not going to be the same. Yes, Hayley, years ago, when people didn't understand it, it was called yuppie flu, but it's not like that anymore. And I hate that term. Yeah, oh, Lizzie, Lisa, I'm going to have to pin that. Hate it when people say, but you don't look like disabled. Yeah, you don't look stupid. <laughs> I love that. Don't Another one that I like that John Barrowman says, don't apologise for being nerdy. Non-nerdy people don't apologise for being a-holes. So yeah, I am a John Barrowman fan, by the way, guys. So yeah. Um, I'm really looking forward to seeing his tour um, in a couple of months' time. Really looking forward to seeing his tour in October. First time in years. Really looking forward to seeing him again. Oh, you know what, Laura? It was a nice, easy way to get rid of you. It's called The Powers of Blocking. See you, Laura. Bye-bye. There we go. I don't stare at my phone 24-7. A lot of people do. I don't. Hold on, what was that? Where do you get your wardrobe? Where your clothes are on? Oh, you mean the rails? Um, Amazon. It's a hanging rail system. It's all spring-loaded. Um, there's no drilling, no nothing like that. It's all springs in the poles. And I got it from Amazon about 18 months ago. And yet, yeah, really, really good. Oh, JR Verse, I'm going to pin that. I hope you don't mind. Outside and smiling and inside I'm dying. Yeah, I know that feeling. I know that feeling a lot. Yeah, you have my sympathies and I'm sending you lots of love. I mean it. Am I depressed, Chris? No, I'm not. I do not ha have depression. I've never been clinically depressed. But I do have anxiety. Uh, so, private something, private account has said, how severe is my ME? So, I do not have what is called very severe ME. 
No, I've never had very severe ME where I've been bed bound for a long period of time. Never had that. I fluctuate on, because ME is a fluctuating condition. I've had, okay, I'm going to try my best to explain it. Think of a one to 10, okay? Think of one to 10. Think of 10 being the very, very severe. And think of zero being normal and healthy. Okay? So, I've never been at 10, ever. I've been at nine once for about a month. I fluctuate between an eight and a five. So sometimes I'm good, sometimes I'm bad. Sometimes I'm even down at a four, maybe. Other times I will be all the way up at eight. And they're the days when I can barely move. It fluctuates. It's never the same every single day. That's why one day I can go out and enjoy myself and another day I can barely move. I was diagnosed at 25, I'm now 50, but I had the symptoms since I was 21. No, it's the other way around, Charlotte. So, zero would be fit and healthy, a normal person. 10 would be the most severe ME you can have, where you can't sit up, you can't speak, you can't eat, you can't sleep, you can't swallow, you can't have daylight, you can't have noise, you can't be touched. You know, really severe ME. I am very lucky to say I've never been that bad. I've been at nine once, where I was bed bound, um, where I couldn't do anything for myself, I was in hospital, I couldn't even get up to go to the loo. Um, yeah, I was ill. Um, but apart from then, I fluctuated between, a, I'd say a four and an eight. Yeah, I'm 50, Lil. I'm 50. I was turned 50 in May. Thank you, Mandy Parker. Yeah, I've been on just over two years on TikTok now. Tracy, I hope you don't mind me pinning that. Tracy says, me, you, TikTok, have become my social life due to his disabilities. Tracy, that's the biggest reason I came on TikTok myself. I didn't have a social life. I still don't. TikTok is my social life. Um... I hope that with my move and the church being much easier for me to get to and much more welcoming um, than the church I used to go to, um, I'm hoping that things are going to improve for me. But there are days and weeks when I can't get out of the house um, and TikTok is still going to be here for me and I'm still going to be here for people like you. I am not stopping TikTok. I'm not going into great detail about what ME is, guys. If you want to read what ME is, um, please go to the ME Association. The link is in my link tree on my bio up there. I'm not going into detail, guys. I'm not asking questions about what happened, okay? I'm not answering questions about that. <coughs> I 
I speak a tiny bit of Welsh, Evie, because I used to live in Wales, so I speak a tiny bit of Welsh. Right, it's getting dark in here, as you can see the light's going, and I want to move. Um, I need to rest, I need to go and lie down for half an hour, and now I've done my hair and stuff. Um, I will be on later, I will come back on, um, what's the time at the moment, it's half seven, I'll say I'll probably be back on about nine o'clock. Um, yeah, so I'll come probably be back on about nine o'clock this evening. Um, so yes, I will see you all later. Thank you so much for watching. What I will do though, if you don't already follow me guys, there's 1,400 of you in the room. I can't believe that all 1,400 people follow me. Do me a favour, hit that follow button. Click up here and hit the follow button if you don't already follow me and you want. The Observer, providing you with the latest TikTok drama from across the UK.